Hello from Hennessy Studios. My name is Dave Hennessy, and today I'm going to talk about Port Angeles, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Stay tuned. The first good thing is Hurricane Ridge. It's in the Olympic National Park. You get to it by going right into Port Angeles and then up the hill from there. It's a beautiful place. The drive is wonderful. The roads are really well made. And when you get on top, there's a small lodge up there with a big parking lot, lots of trails to hike on. During the winter, they have winter sports up there. During the summer, lots of hiking. One of the bad things about Hurricane Ridge is that during the winter, because of the snow level, sometimes the road is closed. So you want to check on their website to make sure that it's going to be open if you're here for winter sports. Another good thing is the weather. It's usually kind of mild here. It uh, never gets too hot and never gets too cold. And if it gets cold, it's not too long. And if it gets hot, it's usually not too long because we're right here on the ocean. Now for the bad. The bad is it rains a lot here. We are in a rainforest. We are in the Pacific Northwest. We are right next to the mountains. We get the breezes coming off the ocean. So if you're coming up here and you plan on staying for any length of time, be prepared for wet weather. It can be gloomy. You can have cloudy weather for many, many, many days. And also it can rain for many days. Another good thing in this area is the Discovery Trail, which starts in Port Townsend and runs all the way through Squim, Port Angeles, and out to La Push on the Pacific Ocean. It's a great trail. It's well maintained. Most of it, or a lot of it, is paved. And so if you're hiking or walking um, or bike riding especially, it's a great trail to explore. Part of the Discovery Trail is very easy to get to. You drive on Highway 101 just west of Port Angeles a couple miles. You'll see a gas station and then a road that goes to the right that says Highway 112. You take that, go down about three quarters of a mile and there's a road to the right and if you drive down that road it'll take you to it. If you're lucky enough to be here on the bridge or on any of the bridges that cross the river during the late summer or the early fall, you may see some salmon as they go up to spawn.
Another bad thing is the traffic. Since there's only one main road out here, Highway 101, or Highway 1 as you call it, there's a lot of traffic because there's a lot of people coming out here and especially during the summer months you'll get RVs and you'll get the big semi trucks coming out here, the big wood chip trucks. And uh, if you're planning on getting anywhere, just be prepared for lots of traffic. On the good side, just west of Port Angeles are two lakes, Lake Sutherland and Crescent Lake. Lake Sutherland is small with a few houses around it, so getting down to the water is a little difficult. But uh, Crescent Lake is huge and uh, runs about 10 miles, and there's roads on both sides of the lake, at least on the left-hand side, the highway runs, and on the right-hand side, as you're going out, uh, the road goes out to Piedmont, which is another place that uh, you can uh, begin hiking on the Discovery Trail. So the road only goes about halfway on the right-hand side. But there's two lodges. You got Crescent Lake Lodge and then you got Cabin Lodge, one on each side of the lake with camping, with RVs, with boat launching, and it's a wonderful place to be during the summer. Another good thing in this area is the Solduck Hot Springs, which is located uh, on the western side of Crescent Lake. You go past the lake, hang a left, go up into the mountains about 12 miles, and you come to the hot springs. There's a big lodge there. They have cabins, they have RV parking and camper parking, and you can even stay in a tent if you'd like. There's also Solduck Falls, which is just uh, a little ways past the actual hot springs. The hot springs themselves are really nice. They're all outdoors. There's a big pool, and then there's some circular pools for the hot springs. The regular pool is warm, but it's not hot. It's a wonderful place to stay. It's open during the summer, spring, summer, and fall. I don't think it's open in the winter time. One caution I want to give you when you're out here is to watch for deer. They're all over the place. They'll come out on the highways and the residential roads. They'll jump right in front of your car. You'll see a lot of them, um, especially if you're driving early in the morning or late in the evening. And uh, so you want to be very cautious in your driving. There's a few activities out here that draw a lot of people, especially in the summer and fall. The one in the summer is the Lavender Festival. There's a lot of lavender farms out here, so uh, we get a lot of people coming out for that. During the fall, usually at the end of September, beginning of October, we have the Crab Festival, which also brings in a lot of people. That happens in Port Angeles.
one of the bad things about the area is there's not a lot of shopping. I mean, you have your normal Costco, Home Depot, um, things like that, but there's no big malls here. And so if you want to do any major shopping, then you're gonna have to go quite a few miles away into Silverdale, which is over the Hood Canal Bridge. Thanks for watching. See you next time.